I don't want anyone to walk away from a tragedy in their life and feel the way that I felt, invisible. Have you ever had one of those moments that's so dramatic that it clearly divides your life into two pieces, before and after? I started meeting other people who, like myself, didn't have physical injuries, but had emotional and psychological injuries. So as you're thinking about compassion in the workplace, what if, as leaders, we model that compassion for our teams? What if we were able to build empathy and compassion into our system for all types of survivors? It's also critical that you and I ask the hard questions of our leaders, our media, our healthcare professionals, our teachers, that we challenge them when they omit the mental side of health in their stories or their messaging or their victim counts. In every interaction, we have the ability to shape the lives of the people we are interacting with. We have the power to create environments that are supportive and healing, regardless of our former roles. My personal goal in all of this is I want, after the next big event or the next small event, I want the person who's experienced that and who's feeling the mental health impacts to know that you see them to know that they are not invisible.